Good afternoon Brewers, it's the 17th of December, so a week from now it will be Christmas Eve and a few of you have been as asking me how my Christmas beer is turning out. So this is the, uh, the bread pudding ale. Uh, the last video took you through the mashing of that, so it had uh, two and a half, well 1.2 kilograms actually, of out of date bread in it, along with pale malt, wheat malt, malted oats, rye malt, caramel malt. It had some lactose in there to, to get the sort of milky custardy effect. Uh, some vanilla pods, a little bit of cinnamon. And it's a recipe from uh, Wiper and True, you remember. So we did that in the last video. Um, I fermented it with Safail SO5. Starting gravity was 1060 and after, let's see, I pitched it on the 8th, after 12 days it was down to 1015. So then I dry hopped it with 50 grams of Amarillo, 10.5% alpha, uh, and left that for 4 days. Then I took them out, cold crashed it, as cold as my fridge would go, which is between 1 and 2 degrees, for about 12 days. At the end of that time it was still pretty hazy to be honest and I was beginning to wonder if it would ever really clear properly. Um, nevertheless the next day I, I bottled it on the 6th of November, bulk primed it uh, and it's now the 17th of uh, December. So it's about six weeks in the bottle. So I thought it was uh, time to crack it open and see how it's gone. So this is how I packaged it. Uh, the picture is from uh, an old Burr's custard advert, I thought that was quite appropriate. Uh, and I've used my um, festive custom bottle caps, uh, which have turned out quite nicely. I will, I'll put a link up so you can see where I got them from. Your Brew, Co UK it is. So with no further ado, let's, uh, let's have a look and see what the beer's like. So it did turn out at 6%, so and it's just early in the afternoon, so I'm going to open a smaller 330ml bottle that I haven't labelled up. So, see for the hiss. Yep. It's a nice, a nice hiss there. Surprisingly hoppy and quite sweet aroma coming off it. Some nice carbonation. We are, so hopefully you can see it did clear in the end. It's a lovely clear yellow straw coloured beer. Quite a nice head retention there. Carbonation level seems seems good. Aroma. The aroma is surprisingly hoppy actually, which will probably be down mainly to the Amarillo dry hop. So uh, during the boil, I added Matuka actually, strange choice, but that was what the recipe was at 10 minutes and 5 minutes. And no flame, uh, yeah, then 30, 55 grams of Matuka again at flame out. And then there was the dry hop of Amarillo, 50 grams of Amarillo. So I think it's mainly the Amarillo giving it that uh, hoppy aroma. Let's see how it tastes. So it's got a malty custardy is the word I would use, vanilla, vanilla flavour, custardy, rich, very rich, bit like a Belgian double maybe, um, but plenty of bitterness in there. Considering the IBUs are quite low in, yeah, only 15 IBUs uh, from the boil hops, but I do find that high alpha um, dry hops can just add a little bit of extra bitterness to come to my palate anyway and there is some research to back that up that dry hopping can affect bitterness. As for the bread, I was worried about starch haze but there's no, no trace of it. It's lovely and clear. There's just a, a nice rich malty flavour. I can't say that I pick up bready flavours from it. It's 
So all in all, I think it's um, a good fit to the design. So, you know, it's supposed to be um, a celebration of a bread pudding. So it should be rich, um, custardy, uh, slightly sweet uh, raisins in there. And it's got it's got all of that raisin sweetness, slight raisin sweetness in there. And I think it's a great festive brew. The problem I find with festive brews that are highly spiced with cinnamon and star anise and so on, like I did last year, is they're great fun at the time. Then come the third of January, nobody wants to drink them. What you've got here is a beer that's close to the style of a, of a Belgian beer, really. That's pale, very malty, well hopped, aromatic, a little bit of quirky, custardy vanilla flavour in there. Um, but other than that, it's not, it doesn't scream just a Christmas beer. So I think people will be happy to drink this well after Christmas as well. I certainly like it very much. Prefer it to my Christmas beer last year. I'd recommend it. Uh, go back to the last video and have a look at the uh, recipe. And I'll certainly be experimenting with more bread and toast brewing. Uh, in future brews so look out for that okay i hope you all have a great christmas and that you've had a very productive uh, brewing year i'll be back in the new year and one of my jobs over the christmas break is to get that long promised water treatment video done for you okay have a great christmas bye for now